Earth is inhabited by an enormous variety of creatures. Life has sprung up everywhere, colonizing the most diverse environments. From farmland to the tropical rainforests, from frozen deserts to the folds of our stomachs. How many different species can you name from memory? Ten? A hundred? A thousand? According to the estimated figures, between five and a hundred million different species inhabit our planet. These millions of different species exist in all shapes and colors. Some creatures are gigantic, while others are invisible to the naked eye. Some live for hundreds of years, and others for just a few hours. Then, there is one that has a very bizarre characteristic. Hi there. Yes, indeed, I do belong to a very peculiar species, which has been given all kinds of names. The beauty of the world, the paragon of animals, amongst other things. It would take too long to list them all, but my scientific name is Homo sapiens. Just a second. Amongst animals alive today, Homo sapiens is characterized by its permanent vertical posture. It is a large primate with posterior limbs longer than the anterior. It has no tail. Its facial features, mandible, and suborbitary ridges are small, whereas its skull is large. Its hair is generally sparse, apart from on its head, where it is abundant. I know. At first sight, I might appear quite ordinary, but my species is the only one, as far as we know, that has attempted to organize the living world. You've all heard of systematics, right? No? Hold on. Here, we're in the middle of a quite indescribable mess. Well, the point of systematics is to record, describe, and classify the millions of living creatures and put them into scientific categories. So, in order to classify things, the first step is to do something we homo sapiens love to do. Make a collection. <laughs> 